topic which is simple titled our position before the system of government that is set before us our position before the system of government that is set before us if you are meticulous enough if you are articulated enough to begin to change to check to calculate from the very first time the continent of africa was invaded from the very first time when man and woman decide to derive pressure in turning their fellow to beast of burden in the name of conquest undermining the sovereignty of humanity the dignity of humanity from that very moment when somebody believed that he has to go to another territory and steal and give glorifying name to criminals to terrorists the problem of the black is that they have failed to acknowledge to reconsider their position before the immediate current system of government ruling them i can assure you that our life is not different from those who were kidnapped to work in different plantations across the globe i can assure you that our faith has not changed from those who were sold i can assure you that there is no difference between those who were colonized i can assure you that even the era of independent you are still a prisoner as you were from the very first day they entered our land and i can assure you that if we do not take care no matter what you do they keep us at a particular standing point and we have failed to reconsider to discover to look into our position before the current government that is why today no matter what you do you are still roaming around the same circle because everything we have done in order to liberate ourselves is still through the same principle of those who kept us in slavery covid 19 has come it is playing its role the role of covid 19 will shift the world into a different dispensation but of course most of us because of who we are because of the way we reason we are settling down we are relaxing we are happy that yes oh somebody somewhere say we can now move freely who gave them the right to shut us down you never thought about it and now they have not got a solution to covid 19 but they are now telling you the country that will enter europe only this country can enter europe because we want to control covid 19 epidemic but we say okay it's okay in as much as i'm happy that nigerians are not allowed to go to europe i will not forget to consider the implication of that statement and i can categorically tell you that european union do not have right to make such decision except they are terrorists because if the same africa now rise up and say no european should enter africa until the problem of covid 19 is solved the next thing is united arab nation in the name of un will sanction your country in africa you simply don't have right because you do not have nuclear warhead china is respected because they have nuclear warhead japan india america europe arabia nation they how they all have nuclear weapon if you don't want us to discuss like human being then let us die like animal we do not understand how these things work and so trying to save ourselves from a very system that has kept us down we keep using their formula to deliver ourselves that is why if you like change all your name from africa country if you do not understand the system of government that is said before you you will still be on your knee if you like be muslim be christian be pagan be ogomo be everything if you do not understand the system of government that stand between you and that religion you will still be on your knee if you like be the friend of america the friend of israel not until you are ready to take your destiny in your hand you will still be under the chain and so this morning I want Biafrans to begin to reason in a different perspective. We all have reason why we should do certain things we ought to do. 
we will enjoy it better but it's not about us not until we come to a stage where we are willing to sacrifice everything for the good of others we are not human and we don't understand what it means to love i have taken time to look at how all this nation what power emerges they were man and woman who were willing to stand on behalf of the rest if we die we die if we perish we perish but after us none of our descendants will die again after we are gone none of our people will perish again because we will take everything that we have within us and reposition them strategically to rule their surrounding but we have not been able to come to this point the position of most leaders across the globe is that of a plan with a lot of procedures put in place that will give their people their desire end unlike most leaders in africa when you go across the globe the position of most leaders across the globe has always been that of making sure their people have the best that life have to offer the government of advanced nation as you may call them may be thief they may be terrorists because this is what is part of the major character that attributes their personality but in the midst of all this this is the mindset they have when americans want to think they tell you american first even though the blacks are still being marginalized and treated like animal across the globe every country who owns their own country know what to do they make plans for them to progress from one level to another do you know that their children are not thinking of how to make money they are thinking of how to do exploit every leader across the globe outside african leaders they are trying to create a enabling environment that will enable their community to thrive socially and otherwise their children as you are speaking now are somewhere in one lab are somewhere in one uh, 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 introductory or technological lab trying to make creation manufacture things to move the world to another lane they are not talking about how to feed they are not talking about how to buy new mansion they are not talking about how to get plenty girlfriend they are not talking about how to drive plenty car because they've been able to beat a certain barrier but how can you beat a barrier you never know it existed in your life in the first place that is why people who claim to save you come back with the same mindset playing you around the same turntable stereo and as far as you are not able to notice all this thing they continue to use you you will always praise the system that enslave you as we are doing already but coming down to those of us in africa those black people all over the world we spend most of our time thinking how will i eat you wake up in the morning you look at four of your kids or three of your kids or ten of your kids you look at your husband you look at the kitchen you just have one two bar of yam and maybe three cup of gary which may not even be enough for two of them to feed and you have nothing in your bank account and then they they thought of how to feed your family take the best of you because the only thing you can think is where do i go to work where do i go to work there is a strategy on place that you will never have a job to do and then you begin to think who do i borrow from who do i borrow from there is every possibility that those rich people who will borrow you you have to do that on collateral they have to take something in exchange and be rest assured you cannot be able to pay for it you spend all your life thinking of how to solve problem in those days our elders say that the gray hair is a honor it's a beauty to old age but my brother if you see my younger brother my immediate younger brother his own gray head i tell you it's not a beauty because i don't have single gray hair but he has gray hair already why why he was locked up 10 years in india 10 years in india and when he came out he had gray hair everywhere 
when he came home then i asked him i said why all this gray hair he said when they locked me up in prison in india by the time they released me i have gray hair all over me i went to the hospital for medical checkup and i was informed that the very cell responsible for producing black pygmy in my system i do not know the biological name anyway is dead and so i can never have black hair again and so when you see young boy with gray hair my brother is a sickness don't let anybody deceive you but if you don't know it's a sickness you will think it's fashion parade is beauty there is a reason i'm saying this thing our position before the current system of government said before us have so much to do in our life we spend our mind we exhaust ourselves looking for pro solution to things that does not matter things that are irrelevant take a little step back and look at what we are doing to restore biafra some people already are creating franchise maybe to defend themselves but adventure things go wrong some are creating platform already to run kaba but adventure things go right some are fighting very hard to dominate all of us when the freedom we seek for comes almost everybody have their own agenda but i tell you we are going to do this thing for a very long time but if we truly understand that it's not about the kaba you are building it is not about your personal interest it's not about the sacrifice you have made i tell you we will get it all wrong because this is exactly the same way they want us to feel and to reason i have reasons one thousand and one reason why i should not do what i am doing but i would have been a great failure in the whole of my life if i cannot understand the role the system of government said before me is meant to play so whether i enjoy it whether i don't enjoy it whether it profits me now or not we have shift base from our thinking capacity to understand that it's not about me people sacrifice all over the world to get to where they are but like i said if you don't know you have sickness you will not make effort to cure yourself and so it is important we take note of all this back on so when we walk within our territory we know it's our territory and when we walk outside our territory we know it is outside our territory that very system of government that is said before us they occupy political space without making any position or positive impact on our life when you look at the system of government that is said before us you will see the only thing they are doing is occupying political space Good luck, Iberi Jonathan was in power for six years. Buhari is in power and is ongoing. We can go back and talk about Yaradua, Obasanjo, and the rest of them. Have you seen them come forward to make any initiative that will actually enhance Nigerians, Nigeria, for instance, to develop? The other one that they told you that for about 33 years they have been looking studying how to make suya nigeria for 33 years has invested so much on how to make suya how to roast suya we have spent billions there you think these people are stupid they know what they are doing they will constantly tell you that uh, they are working very hard to make sure that in 2015 nigerian can manufacture pencil you think they are that daft this is the government that is said before you they want to occupy the corridor of power for the rest of their life and they make you miserable but you don't see it you clap for them each year they keep telling you we have uh, made a uh, progress moving the electric capacity was from 2000 megawatts to 500 megawatts you are rejoicing you don't even understand the implication in that grammar 
because they tell you they have attended to 6,000 megawatts and then in the next year in the middle of the same year they tell you it has broken down the capacity is very low now about 24.5 kva but we are looking at how we can improve and go back to the normal they are occupying that political space you cannot have the power to decide yourself and then we have been singing the same chorus that is why you see tomorrow when they come out and say oh we flag up of ogoni clean up some of us will still come to radio and appraise them when they tell you oh second niger bridge is almost uh, uh, complete you will, some people will still come and praise them because you don't know the system of government that is set before you is there to simply make sure they block the corridor of power you can never be useful that is what nigeria is doing to be france most especially but all of us are suffering it in the end our governors and politicians all of them occupy the corridor of power who can somebody tell me a single policy that is meant to empower nigerian citizen anywhere that is why you begin to see that they will never allow you to have access to justice system to achieve this they will make sure you don't have access to justice system electricity generating electric city is the, the simplest technology available to anybody i can use the tap in my kitchen to create electricity but as i'm talking to you there are things that are required if you try it nigeria will tell you did you collect license where is the man that invented gas to buy what did oba sanjo do to him through peter Audele? when we have solid gas and minerals all across biafra land can somebody tell me why any community in biafra land should not be enjoying 24 hour electricity when we have little little boys who can sponsor gas to buy take them to court they will tell you it's peter Odele. But Opa Sanjo actually ate the money meant for gas to buy when he was the honorable president of Nigeria. They block the political corridor of power to make sure that they will lie against you and talk you down before the global community. And you will agree with them. I listened to a woman of God. She was busy saying, eh, the government are not the problem. Uh, the, the, these people are not the problem we are the problem madam madam woman of god you are the problem i'm not part of the problem and everybody must understand that they talk us down through this system because they are blocking political corridor for us as a people they begin to talk you down fella knew this truth that is why i tell you they will be singing there our people are useless our people are useless my people are hopeless my people are in the same plane only african leader say so they talk you down until you accept that you are a fool you can't respond back they are going to blame us now tomorrow and how do you vote them in power who told you we voted them in power and somebody will say hey you hold your government responsible how can we hold our government responsible when British government and United Nations will aid them to kill us, and this matter will never be spoken about. All they need is to talk down on us, call us name. But to most of you, you celebrate them because you don't know how they function. It is not their fault. That very system that enslaved your father and your mother, that very system that colonized your father and mother, that very system that pretend to give you independence, your father and your mother, the same system is working very hard to make sure that your life is made more miserable than you can imagine. This system of government that said before us, we are meant to suffer the consequence of their action the government of the day make us to suffer the consequence of their action everything they do we pay for it oh abacha loot abacha loot abacha loot while abacha and others were looting they were impoverishing the people of nigeria 
but today they are recovering our bachelor loot you cannot see one tangible things billions of us dollars and pounds of britain recovered can do for us it ends in grammar we are the ones suffering the consequence of their action we are always blamed for their in in inefficiency and you don't know this is how the system is programmed to function the Igbo man can never be president of Nigeria. Get that into your ticket. But some people are going to make you canvas very soon. Uh, uh, Igbo for presidency. Igbo for presidency. And you are still going to fall on that lane. And then Igbo people are going to blame you. If not IPOB, we would have been president. Now they have taken it for us. They make you to blame. They put the blame of all their plans, all their failure against you. Any leader who passes blame on his subject is not a sincere person. Any father who is fast to condemn his children is not a good father. Any leader who is fast to condemn their people is not a good leader. Any government who is fast to condemn you as a citizen is not a good government. They are playing within the system that created your problem in the first place. They put the blame of their inefficiency on you. The more they loot the money, the more they bring you down on your knee. It's amazing these days nobody talk about the money NNPC is making. Why? Because Britain positioned the full animal to steal it and as far as Yoruba get their own tempest and you will never say it. Let Igbo man go there now. Or your Niger Delta man. Let them go to NNPC. You will see Nigerian government will be doing auditing every day. You must understand first of all how the system that has kept you on your knee function. Because if you don't understand how they function, it will be suicidal to go and fight them. A lot of people are misbehaving in the name of agitating. But we are watching all of you. That is why you will understand that we are the Biafran watchmen. We are watching all of you. Because if we continue to do this thing, we will continue to tell the story. Tell me, give me one success story of Africa. Give me one success story of a black man. Give me one success story of Nigeria. Give me one success story of Biafra. Aside the fact that we have stand put in order to change the system. That is the only success story we will have. But do not forget, we are not there yet. They make sure that you lack the, the, the will to bring them to accountability. As they make sure that that platform is not provided. This very system said before us, we make sure they do everything to make sure you don't have access to call them for account. I've been privileged to handle many positions in my life, as low as they can be. One of the first principles I understand is the need to understand that if I am a man under authority, I am as well a man that will redeem accountability. If I am given a tiny power to do anything, the first thing I understand is that I must be willing to give account of my action. But this very system, as I tell you, the very system that don't want Biafra to be free, the very system that made the Yoruba Wosafu I need to die in one Nigeria with us, even when they know it's not working, the very system that will make British government to defend unity and integrity and integrity of Nigeria, all of them said before us are the same thing. You can't call any of them to account. You can't call United Nations to account. You can't call European Union to account. You can't even call African Union to account. You cannot call anybody to account in Nigeria. In Biafra land, you cannot call anybody to account. And that is why IPOB must make sure everybody in the position of leadership must be accountable of their action. Somewhere along the line, this will give you a mindset to begin to do the right thing. I see many of them in IPOB today. They are Northern Rep. They are Western Rep. They are UTMF4 Deputy. Oh, sorry, UTMF4 is a common technician. They are Director Godfather. And one day you think you not give account of your action. 
if we have to die hundred times over to make sure every one of us give our account, account of our action in the quest to restore biafra i tell you that biafra will be more corrupt than nigeria because the same system position you in such a way you cannot call them to account call the government of nigeria and say so 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 money in the reserve account what happened to it the next thing they will do is how to kidnap you how to assassinate you how to blackmail you on a big job on a no get sense if you don't understand how these people function we are not going anywhere america have cia we have fbi we have other intelligent organization freelancers as well as government agency all of them make sure that no matter what is what happened i i, I was looking online and i saw a a, 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 a a video of a policeman somewhere in america who in the 80s committed he knows crime he was a serial killer a policeman in the daytime a serial killer at night he committed a lot of atrocity and thought he was going away with it I think he's about 98 years or 89 years i can't remember and he was sentenced even at the age of 80 something years he was arraigned before the court he paid daily for it finally he admitted that he's guilty if all if that continue to happen the next generation will understand that whatever a man so he reaps but the system that is said before us don't tell us that they tell us otherwise kill your people and then you are promoted loot the country and then you have the backing of international community my brothers let us open our mind you cannot call them to give account of their action there is no platform whatsoever for us to register our displeasure you cannot register your displeasure honestly come to think about what we are doing here we are not satisfied the way nigeria is being run and we need a, 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 an edge to hold and say let's look at it our land must be allowed to develop if we are in nigeria it must be a nigeria where you are honored you are promoted you are reward based on your capacity based on your level but at the same time not forgetting that those who are weaker than you are not meant to be destroyed no we come out and protest that why is it we don't have light after one million years of existence somebody is, who is an idiot is going to carry k-47 and shoot you because one idiot order from above ask him to shoot you if you come out today and say nigeria show me covid 19 uh, 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 center immunization or quarantine center river state will show you uh, 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 stadium yakubu terrorists go one stadium that is their own uh, quarantine abi sentimonia what do they call this their house for deceiving us go to delta they don't have or it be look like a, a quarantine center for delta is inside market they are certain oh COVID-19 is uh, there is no provision meant to checkmate this COVID-19 the only thing they have is the blackmail come on social media 20 die 70 die if you cough <coughs> COVID-19 you mess <coughs> COVID-19 you talk <coughs> COVID-19 you know we are no smart COVID-19 this is what they are busy doing blackmailing their people if we ask Nigeria and bring them to account today and say show us one isolation center that is, look like isolation center there is a hate speech that boy must be killed he chased him away is that not what martin and the canoe did and so so that they will not kill you you begin to pamper the same system that will destroy you if you escape them they will hunt down your children the purpose of my message is simple he who want to have sense let him have sense he who don't want to have sense position your head very well people will use it for you this same system they create distraction they create distraction with activities just to make you us working without making progress this system know how to create distraction they make sure you continue to walk you continue to walk you continue to walk but you are not making progress 
Have you seen the list of achievement of genuine civil servant workers in Nigeria? You have civil servant grade one, you have civil servant middle class, and you have civil servant grade three, lower class. The civil servant grade one are the government themselves, are those people who stand at the corridor of power. They steal everything stealable, they loot everything lootable. The civil servant grade two, the middle class, are the ones that keep record. So as they are eating, they are dropping small, small for their boys. The majority of the civil servant commission or members will fall under the category of those majority of the people. Go and look at them. Level 16, federal government civil servant, buriti, rejiti, rejiti, go and look at them. They can't pay their children's school fees. Some of them has worked 50 years of their life working for a country that never valued them. 70 years and God help you, you die without collecting your pension or gratuity or any big name they call it. They will not pay your children. My wife father served in the Ministry of Works in Lagos State. He served them for 45 years. He died in active service. And when he died, his children started writing for pension or gratuity or whatever name they call it. It is over 20 years now they are still writing. They have spent more money on transport trying to get their, their, their father pension or gratuity fund. There is no way. Somebody has eaten it. Go and look at the life of the majority of people in the civil service. Nothing to show. Abia teachers are protesting for salary. They will shoot them. But of course, you continue working believing that one day it will be well. That is what Yoruba told you. What will I do, my son? Let me still go. Who knows? So at the end of the day, you have worked for 30 years. Nigerian government has paid you for only one year. They are the one eating 29 years because they want to distract you by making you to make movement, which is never progress. When I no no say you they make movement, no be progress. Not until you begin to measure the level of the progress you have made. Your movement is useless. Now maybe you begin to understand why we are doing what we are doing. They reprogram you in such a way that you are made political talk. Very soon election will be here. All this thing we are saying, 90% of Nigerian youth will turn to talk. You never ask yourself question. People turning you to talk, to rig election, carry ballot paper or boss. Where are their children? Where are their children? You are meant to work in an environment where you cannot progress. You go to school at the end of the day, you come back from school and you don't have a job. You, you are driving keken a pepe. You are doing anything you are doing. And people talk to you. People who cannot talk to you ordinarily. They don't know that in your field of endeavor, you are a first class student. You graduated with flying color, with honor. But you are a keke driver. That is exactly what the system wants for you. No matter how American will preach the love they have for Africa. No matter how Europe, Japan, and China will tell you how much they love us. They don't want you to equal them. That is to show you that their love is not unconditional. It is a conditional love. Remain poor. Remain slave. Start buying from America, China, and Japan, and then we love you. Let any country in Africa stop importation of foreign goods in our land. You will see how their love, the size of their love for you. Invasion will start immediately. Because they changed the packaging. Because they changed the name. Does it mean the system has changed? That is exactly what your leaders in Nigeria are doing to you. They use you to checkmate one another. All these activities are meant to make you think you are working, but you are not working. Very soon now they say, eh, come oh community. If you see where IPOB, they do meeting, tell us. But IPOB is here to fight for you. IPOB is here to deliver you. But the same government we want to save you from, we tell you, if you see IPOB, hold them, tell us, how can we get them? And some of you are working very hard to get George Onibe to federal government. But believe me, you are hunting. You will die in that process. 
They use us to antagonize one another, to distract one another, so they have their way. If you do not fight to eradicate the system, we will end up taking, thinking for the rest of our life only how to eat and pay bill. If you do not fight to take care of this system, if you do not exchange this old system for the new system, we will spend the rest of our life thinking on how to feed, thinking on how to, to, to pay bills, which is exactly what they want. I want you to study the whole world. You go to Chinese, Japan. You look at their children. They are teaching them how to manufacture computer. How to manufacture Andro Android phone. I can assure you that almost the Korean nation, all their children are being taught how to manufacture even a computer. You must learn it. And they are doing good for themselves. You go to somewhere like Israel. What they need more is defense. They make sure that all their children, all of them are enrolled in the military. At the very early stage of their life. Because somebody got to defend Israel someday. You go to America. They understand the essence of justice. They work very hard to make sure that every American child understands the creed and the justice system of, of, of America. And that is why when you say America will tell you I know my rights. But you come to Nigeria, all our children is being converted to pastor, imam, or go for Gibia, Obeblu. Why? So they can be praying for manna to fall from heaven. Manna have stopped falling from heaven. Don't you get it? Your greatest achievement. Oh, my son can pray. Oh. Very good prayer warrior. Everywhere the company is moving. Church everywhere. Because it keeps you on your knee. Because they will never allow you to see the true God. They just want you to be in that religion of praying. What are you praying for? Don't you know successful people don't pray? They thank God. Don't you know successful people don't pray to God? They thank God. Successful people don't pray. They appreciate. But you see, all of us are busy. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, be you maka. Na be go you maka. Oh Lord, be mercy for me. Be mercy for me. Is God this wicked? God understands you are getting it all wrong. Because each time you are begging God, oh have mercy on me. Oh help me, give me food. Oh you you are you are telling God you are you are very wicked. Because He said, if the best of the air, I feed them. If I even take care of the flowers in the field, what about you who is my image? And now you see, your mindset is what has kept you there. Believe me, the Biafra we seek for can be ours in less than 30 minutes. But until we understand what everything happening around us, the road they are playing, believe me, the journey has just begun. But we will not back down. We will not shift our ground. We must remain more focused. We must understand why they do what they do. We must make sure that we are in full control of our situation and circumstance. And that is why this morning, there is need for us to understand our position before the present system of government said before us, or else we will be making movement without progress. And that will not be our portion in Chukoki Kabiyama's name. Dear friends, God I'll be back in a minute. After this, After this heavy rain, please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger. Siblings are more than all day long. We have been ruled by strength. Sing
Yes, of course, at this moment our lines are open. But before then, do not forget our leader will be on air this evening as always at exactly 7 p.m. Biafran time. Make sure you are standing by. Our WhatsApp line is 070 is our WhatsApp line. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971 is our direct line. And the special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female 081-288-58614. And of course, we are not going anywhere. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Yes, my I got a cool. It's our anointing. Go ahead, please, my brother. You must continue talking. You know, that is my name. Thank you very much, my I remember as if you could call me. Please, Mazi, I must thank each and every IPOB down in the Afra land. I must thank them. For them to remain resolute, for them to be hosting, inaugurating every day, I must thank them because the cross, the cross, we are the one to carry it. Nobody will carry it for us. Nobody. I must tell everybody to start today. If you never start, start your own day to be doing Biafra things because we already in Biafra land. Nobody have the right on that land except me and you. Nobody. We are not we are not we are not asking to stay sit on anybody's land. Rather on our own. And this time we owe nobody any apology for the quest of restoration of Biafra. I greet Mazi I greet with and all the principal officers IPOB worldwide. I greet all of you. You people are doing all great. Ahead, ahead is where we are going. The world can never be peace. There's, there will be no peace on the planet until Biafra will be restored. Yes. Nobody. Nobody. Tell me where is free. Fear everywhere. You know? Fabricating lies everywhere. Look at this one they fabricate now. Call it coronavirus, COVID-19. It's a fabrication. It's not natural. It's not natural. It's just to hold people down. But we must tell them that we are the we are the Asian people, and the Asian people we fear nobody. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marjorie. Keep on going on. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. A great IPOB. They are making me proud. I'm I'm proud of you people. I'm very, very proud. I'm happy. Any, any day I wake up and see inaugurated you know, family in Biafra land. Moving, moving ahead. Start it. Start it if you never start. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Major. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our people must understand the rule the enemy plays just to keep us in the same place. We pretend sometimes we are making progress, but believe me, the truth is that nobody is making any progress. We are exactly where they want us to be. And if we have this little knowledge, if we have this idea, if we understand the role we are meant to play, I can assure you our life cannot be the same. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Um, Adam Ewo from uh, Abakaliti, indigenous of Afriko. So I'm here to say hello, glory be to God on your behalf, on the head of our leader, Maze Nnamdi Okukano, and the deputy Uche Emofo and the uh, Mazi George Oyibe, African Rep. So my my call is to uh, say, pray to God that God will keep on protecting you people in any way they are going that God will not allow any plan of the wicked to work to be successful on their heads, but that anybody that dig a pit for them shall fall into their pit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My prayer is also that God will energize our leader, Maase Namdi Okukano, to continue on the way he's leading him because god has endowed him with wisdom knowledge and understanding even power of leadership may god keep on protecting him in every angle in the mighty name of yahweh yeshua my prayer for you george onibe is that god will keep on encouraging you protecting you and your family anywhere you people are going that this struggle will continue on it because i know as god has given you the wisdom of every day bringing out new topic and the opening our eyes on how our leaders are just looting the money economy of uh, our, of Biafra and making themselves and the foreign allies rich and the, why their children the owners of the uh, resources are suffering but god say that whatever man a man sows that he will reap so may god almighty that my prayer is that the Biafra will come in no distant time that we will enjoy and our children children in the mighty name of yahweh yeshua amen thank you uh, very much my, whatever what i have to tell our uh, the so-called elders is that there is a man in our place i'm from our people he's called uh, uh somebody uh, uh, that brought uh muslim in our land they don't know that this man was electrocuted by this uh, Muslims. But uh, people are calling our place uh, Muslim, uh, uh, Muslim town. But all I have to say is that they didn't continue, but they, as our leader have said, they must have, after some flight, they must come back in shame. That's all I have. May God bless you all. Thank you very much. We must continue. Of course, our leader over time through his message of liberation, enlightenment, have affected positively in all our life compared to anything we have received from any man or woman. And like we always say, let Elohim continue to guide him. That this truth which is capable of setting us free might be at the disposal, at our doorstep. So everybody, boy, child, girl, black across the globe not just be afraid will be liberated in the end from this very system call our whatsapp are you still there 
Yes, my lord, I'm here, sir. Good morning, my brother. Go ahead, please. Good morning, my Zoe. I bless you, my dear. You are doing a wonderful job that no man can do. But oh, that, is too, mean, that is too high to rate me in that form, honestly. No, 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 no. no uh, maybe me. they will not. Honestly. Maybe they will not agree. Go maybe ahead, they please. will not agree for me. But I believe so, and this is how I take it, sir. I say, me to work and bless you once again. Bless our leader. Bless you, Chemefo, and bless all the whole people that have a good heart for our for our Biafra restoration. Mother, I have just a small song to sing for our leader. Holy, 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 Nandi Kalu, he's another savior, another savior. Holy, 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 Nandi Kalu, he's another savior. I like it, yeah. I got pushing a harder, he's another savior. He's a man that stands firm in the land of Biafra. With the truth, fat and everything, he has already studied. Mazi, they have suspended Magu. Magu now, he has taken all his, he has carried his own money. Now they give him suspension. From now, they will not hear about him again. He, he, his post now is swallowed. Very fat, fat, fat money on his pocket now. Nobody is talking about it again. Slotan, you will not hear it in Nigeria. This is a story all the whole day. One week, one trouble. One week, one problem. Our leader said it before in his program that Magu is not positioned there. They will remove him and he will see. And nobody, everybody ignore him. Today, everything that man is saying has come to pass. That's why I say, holy, 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 man, the Kalo is another savior, another savior. Holy, 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 man, the Kalo is another savior. I like it, yeah. This is my heart, I'm going to say, God bless you, Marzi. May you go care, my bless you and your family. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Very much, our God is faithful. Are you there, Kola, on the line? Caller on the line. We lost that caller. Yes, caller on the female line. Good morning, my African. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. My name is uh, Chukwu Yukedua from Isalam Bano, Imo State, Biafra Land. I must appreciate Elohim for the grace he has given unto us by giving us Ahamadike and the IPOB and his leadership. I worship him I bow before God Almighty. May his name alone be glorified. I thank God for the life of my leader, Martin Amzekano, and his deputy, Martin Chemefo, and you, my African Red. I thank God for you and your families. May God Almighty continue to guide and protect you all, so that at the end, all of us shall see Biafra and beyond. This is my prayer in Chuko Kikadia name I have prayed. What you are saying now is the right thing, my dear brother. Unless we change our mindset, we will be, we will be still making a movement without a progress. We, we thought we are making a movement, but we are sitting where we are. Yes, that is the reason why you will see a graduate, you see a professor. A professor will be rigging election for a, a little trade. This is the reason why and, and somebody they, they, that it doesn't, it doesn't affect them. It doesn't no, affect them. They, they, they don't show you can have gone no, to America now cooling off and he's directing mm. how our life should be eh? yes go ahead okay please. look at look at somebody that calls himself a lawyer that says that he, he he wrote to britain about the structuring if he's learned enough he should know that britain is not supposed to give us a structure structure is supposed to be done internally so britain has no right of restructuring in nigeria what the world needs is only division. What we need the, the recognition is division. But any restructuring should be done locally. But a graduate, a learned man that calls himself a lawyer, is parading himself outside that he's making a move while he sees where he is. Deceiving our people, pay, being in government payroll, deceiving our people that he's doing something for, for, for Biafra. If it's not IPO, we'll be clapping for them. At the end, we are where we are. No roads, no water, 
no electricity, no hospital, no good food, no nothing. Yet we are being killed every day. Yet we have people that speak big, big grammar. They speak big grammar to deceive us. And when you see their qualification, you will shout and sit and relax, thinking that they are going to bring that uh, down something good only for us to, 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 to be sold. Look at what our governors are doing to us. The people that we thought that are going there to represent us, they have sold the land and they are sitting watching us dying. They prefer people from, from eight different types of uh, part of the world to come and occupy our land and kill us. And they are happy. And when we speak, they say we are insulting them. A person that is insulting you and the person that is killing you, who is offending who? Who is offending who? And they forget that the respect is a reciprocal. If you respect me, that is why our elders, like when my mother, my father always tell me that when you beat a child one, two, don't go the top hand. Because what will come out of that child, you may not uh, like it. Because you have, you have over, you have taken over that child's right. First, second, is respect. The thought, you can see whatever you like. So these people have beaten us more than 100 times. And they said that we should not cry. So what? Who are they? Who are those elders, those evil elders that sat and watched their children, the blood of their children being split on the ground? Who are those elders that sold their, their, their death right? Look, let me tell those elders, even the word of God, those pastors and the children of God that say that uh, uh, working for liberation is a sin. The word of God says that it is even a sin for you to stay and watch a, a stranger come and take what belongs to you without to ask a question and without to say, no, this is my property. You should not take it. It is a sin before God Almighty because you are not using the brain God gave you very well and God detests such human beings. So what we are doing is a just cause. IPOB is on a, uh, a job line, and God Almighty will guard us and we won't be liberated. And those people that are working in order to stop IPOB, all of them shall be put to shame. One, uh, one idiot was saying that, eh, um, uh, that he is the one that wrote a book that uh, uh, writes on Hamadike that uh, uh, our leader is accident. I now I say, this oh, uh, our leader did not even tell us to call him Hamadike. He has never, there is no name that he has said. What he always says is, I am the leader of it. Uh, 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 IPOB, uh, by the grace of God, the uh, uh, humble servant of Biafra. All the other names given to our leader was out of appreciation of what he had been given to us because nobody, according to what he said, eh, nobody speaks for our collective interest. They speak for their belly, they speak for their children, they speak for their relatives. Nobody speaks for us. He's the only person that speaks for us. And we have every right to give him a very beautiful name that we wish to. And they are jealous. They are, if you see bitterness in, the, in this evil man's heart, he says he's a pastor, but he's evil. He's a wicked soul. He, God, God, God cannot deal with such a person. All the said, said, all the said, the devil. That is what that man that says that he is the person that formed IPOD. He wrote a book of IPOD that is said that, that whatever he's doing, they, he consult his elder for Hanese. Hanese that had been there, killing us. Hanese that went to Lagos and said that he sabotaged the outer. Hanese that went to Lagos, uh, 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 outer land and told them that before they will kill any outer land, which is killing himself. This is the people that he consult. This is even people. This is even himself. Because at the end, the children shall pay for it. This is what they refuse to understand. My dear African West, I'm so glad. Hearing your voice is the next me glad. May God continue to keep you, protect you, and guide you. And all my brothers and sisters in IPOB in Biafra land, may God Almighty protect you. Any one of them, any one of the saboteurs that will do any evil against those my brothers and sisters in IPOB, may the love of Biafra swallow them. As they plot such evil against IPOB, may the love of Biafra swallow them. May the blood of our brothers and sisters that have died, Israel will continue to consume them in the name of Chukoki Kadema. Thank you. You see, you see, thank you very much. Our people must understand how they function. The method they deploy at every given instant. Of course, it is their right to plan. But we will make sure that in their evil plan, that they fail. It is their right to plan evil against us. It is our right to make sure that their evil plan will never succeed. That is how it should be. Their friends across the globe must understand how these people function. Where they want you to be. How they want your life to be. They program us and we make us run around and we are looking at them. But we know where they are coming from. Call on the line, are you there? Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. My name is Go ahead, try and speak up louder, please. I spoke at them, bless you. Bless our leader. 
توقعات نیست من این هم توقعات یه بیدو چه میفهم اندوی و من زیادی تو به چکو تو کردن یا بلیزی من نمیتونم به چکو من زیادی این که سرسی تیلی اتمنونه Thank you very much, almost Hill Biafra. Kola on WhatsApp, your name and where are you calling from? Kola on WhatsApp. Good morning, Jojo. Good morning from here. Go ahead. Good morning, Jojo. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, I just want to say thank you for whatever you have been doing and you and uh, our leader, our Madike. I'm praying that the Lord will give us this Biafra we are fighting for. I know what is happening here in Abakaliki and Uche from our Bonnie State. What is happening here in Abakaliki is surprising everybody. But I believe that God will give us this Biafra. I pray that God will continue dealing with you, blessing you, giving us all whatever we need. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you, my brother. Our God is faithful. And of course, the enemy will do what they have to do. It is just our people having the right mindset. And you see, everything we think we are struggling, we are fighting to achieve, they are within our grips already. We have them already. It's just the power to operate in that very dispensation, in that very form, in that very stage we seek to advance to. Biafras across the globe must understand that the day we back down on this journey, that day, you will understand what we have been saying. Are you the caller on the line? That day, of course I lost that caller. That day, you will understand what is going on. Why we have been shouting. Why we have been beckoning on our people to be able to perceive what is coming. But if we fail to understand this truth, if we fail to apply our heart to understanding, but of course, I will not end that prayer because whether the enemy like it or not, we are going home. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good morning. Good morning, please. Go ahead. And of course, as always, the Zoo Epileptic Network, they have their ways on my line this period, but then whatever they are doing, the journey has just begun. We don't back down for anybody. We continue doing what we are doing. Why they continue doing what they are meant to do if they have the anointing to destroy we have the anointing to build we choose our path we choose how we walk that path and we make up our mind to walk to that path to the end once again may i remind us that this evening at exactly 7 p.m biafran time our leader of course will be on air here on radio biafra so as always make sure you are ready. Caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, Good morning sir. from here. Go ahead, please. I'm Chilo, I'm calling from Ngobala. Uh, I must tell you, 
since I've been listening to Radio Biafra, my life has changed. It's made a lot of meaning in my life. I pray Meshuko Kikabia, my bless, Ahamadi King and the Kano, and you, Mazunibe, you have put a different spirit in my life that make my life to be different. Since I enter IPOB, I cannot hurt anybody. I cannot think anything again unless IPOB. I thank Mechiko Kitabia, let Biafra come. And, and we, and you, and Ohamadike, we stay in Biafra land and tell us how to rule this country. I pray in the name of Eke Uriye Afo Unko. And so shall it be in the name of Chiko Kitabia, I pray. Thank you, my leader, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank yes, you very much. We must continue. And of course, we are inching closer to the end of this program. Our people must understand. There is need for everybody, absolutely everybody, to begin to get ready. Making positive contribution. Of course, before you can contribute in any matter, you should be able to know what the subject matter is. Call on the line. Are you there? Call on the line. Call on the line, can you hear me? You should be able to understand what the subject matter is. And that is the only time you can be rest assured that your contribution is in line. A lot of things are going on. But of course, in the coming days, we shall be speaking up about them. But let them do what they have to do. We shall continue from there. Yeah. Call on the line, are you there? Yes, but, but George. Good morning, from you. Go ahead, please. My Africa Red. I'm calling from Portacos. I thank God who made our director to be a stronger. I thank you too who the educators every morning. In fact, I don't know one day, every day the Africa comes, I will eat with you. My name is David Wala. I must speak with you wherever you stay. I must find you come there and thank you. We don't work, sir. We don't work. Thank you very much, thank my you. brother. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp, your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, my name is Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Yes, my name is Tina Sabeno Ronka. I'm from Ecoleda, Ebo State, Biafra Land. I'm calling from Abakiriki. Mwazi, I call to greet you this morning. I say, may God bless you. May God strengthen you. May God keep you alive to see Biafra. Once again, I bless Omadike. I pray for him. God is suffer no man to do him harm. Once again, I pray for Mazi, which you call for me for my deputy leader, the man that stand when my leader is in prison, and assured us that he will never allow the help of this project to see corruption. All of them we see before Mazi Jojo Ivi. You must understand how these people operate because we, have, we are suffering a lot. Okay, now, what is happening in our country now? They are tying us down. They don't want us to speak our mind. If you come out to speak your mind, they will kill you. Mazi, this is your topic. This is your topic. Since, I, since I'm an IPOB member, Mazi, my life has changed. My life has changed. My life has totally changed. I pray for you people. God will strengthen you, Mazi, especially you that is in Biafra land, educating us every day. Mazi, God is strengthening you. God is showing you. You will live and see Biafra. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. We are in this together. Call on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Yes, um, Mazi Onibe. My brother. I am saying um, good afternoon from this very jurisdiction. Mechiko Kabiyama, continue to uh, increase your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. And um, 
um, if uh, what the, if they said which is our horses, I would have loved it to a kind of an open uh, university in Jaffa land to start lecturing this, uh, I, what, 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 what should I call them, all these saboteurs. Because he, he, what you said this very morning uh, um, reminded me of what is happening in this our struggle. Do you know that we have a lot of saboteurs right inside this very struggle? Why am I saying this now? You will know them, Baba said that you will know them by their fruits. Many of them will come on radio, give out some certain um, a kind of um, ideas, uh, call names, and uh, bring out some certain things. But within themselves, they are keeping malice with our deputy. They go, many of them go to social media and start speaking ill of our deputy. Why am I saying this? And I continue to say this as always. I continue to say that. Anybody that has been keeping malice or speaking ill of our deputy, that very person will not last long because I'm, what I'm not trying to tell you, without our deputy, during the time of our leader's incarceration, that man suffers hell to make sure that the IPOB is where he is right now. Because if not for anything, if you have listened to what Urania, the, the, the devil's incarnate said, you know, through his a confession, he made it open that they want to hijack this very struggle. But Uche Mefo was a stumbling stone. And if people could listen to such confession and always keep malice and continue to speak ill of our deputy, what are your gain and you call yourself an IPOB on that oath? Don't you know that you are working against what you have sworn? Look at the down, down uh, uh, phrase, uh, the, the, the sentence of that very oath you've taken. You, it says that you should not go contrary against the principal officers. But you are coming on radio. You call our, our, our leader so many names, but you are keeping malice with our deputy. Joe Kabe will punish all of you. And many of you that are writing, they, you call yourself writers. Like this man, they call himself uh, uh, Amasri or whatever. I don't know if you have uh, uh, kind of uh, had his stories. That man has been working tirelessly to make sure that what we are doing is not getting any any Do you know that this man continue to write to British, uh, 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 British uh, uh, distant governments concerning our struggle. And we, 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 we are working tirelessly to make sure that everybody is being a kind of delivered, that we are free as a person. Yet our own people, our own people are working day and night with the zoo to make sure that what we are doing is not working. I don't just know where, where I don't just know where these people got this very idea from that they don't want to believe in what our leader and deputies are doing. That they don't want to delete, they don't want to be a kind of free. You are a graduate, you don't have a job. At your age, you, you are not married. You are still managing the four rooms that your forefather built. Your sisters are not married. Your certificates are there in your, in your, in your box where you kept your cloth rotten, decaying. I don't think of the years you wasted studying and how your parents. And somebody has thought of over all these things and pains and want to carry a burden upon his shoulders to deliver you, yet to work against him. My brother, let me just tell you why all these people are going scot free was that we are not violent. But this non violent will not last, will no longer continue to last long. I'm telling you, the reason why they are doing all these things now is because they've noticed that IPOB or the Biafran struggle, or people that are agitating for it are not violent. But this thing will not continue. This is the only point that I want to, this thing will not continue because I cannot be building and another man will come and live in it or scatter it, yet we call ourselves IPOB. We call ourselves Biafran struggles. Many of them said that they believe in Biafran struggle, but they don't believe in Martin and they cannot. They have their unit, if not for IPOB. How could they come out? How would they on earth come out to form a quorum if not for IPOB? Some of them are carrying out some assignment that 
that is not that, that is against the will of IPOB, and yet they are using IPOB name to propagate the this very evil and ill. I mean illness. So but that's what we're doing. Masi, what I'm saying is that this quietness will no longer continue. Because in Igbo Adik, they said Abauzo Welemba on Arechi. What it means that if you don't create your boundary and a kind of put it right, just like what Trump did, building walls around his boundary, all these security checkmates will not be able, cannot be able to do what properly checked. Because if your boundaries are free, every enemy, even within and without, will be trooping in, destroy what you are doing. So let me just stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. I can tell you, you are on point. The truth cannot be overemphasized. Everybody will hear from us. We will hear from one another. Because our people must understand. There are way things work. We just want you to know the truth so that you, you don't operate in ignorance. That is exactly what we are doing here. Because the ignorance of the law is no excuse. Though the Bible says in the days of ignorance, God overlook. But in Biafra matter, no overlook. The disciple of Jesus came to Jesus and said to him, after the transfiguration, and he made a request, let me be here and let me be here. And then John and James went to Jesus Christ because their mother and their father were sponsoring Jesus' ministry. Their mother and their father were the one part of the people sponsoring Jesus' ministry. They asked for him a favor. That on that day of his glory, that I may sit by his left and by his hand. Jesus said, you don't know what you are asking for. You don't know what you are asking for. Some people are busy. Oh, and Kano, may I sit in your left or in your right? Some people have started creating empire for themselves. Some people, their only achievement is to bring Uche Mefo down. Let me tell you, the day you are bringing him down, I will fall down with him. But of course, you are not of any concern to me. You don't know how things work. My loyalty is to Mazen and the canon and his deputy and every other genuine Biafran who understand the need to know that yes is yes and no is no. Outside that one, we do a bombo scatter. Is there anybody that have monopoly over there? But how can you be my problem, my brother? My sister, how can you be my problem when the real enemy are standing, circulating us, bearing witness to our actions this day? How can I possibly come and see you as my enemy? Only sick people in the mind think that way and behave that way. But that having been said, everything that is happening is normal. We continue to encounter them. We continue to move ahead. We must get home. People in time past have sabotaged and they live large today before our very eyes. People in time past have committed crime and they walk away freely, I can tell you. But we are here to make sure that those things will stop. It will stop with us. If you are killing people to shut people mouth, we will be the last you will kill. If you are blackmailing people to make sure they don't talk, we will be the last you will blackmail. If you are intimidating or harassing people to take their rights from them, we will be the last you will do that to. The rest are sure. There are different pages in every book. When we get to that chapter, where he say, when you see the tree falling down from the north or to the east, those who see there will look where he cuts his shadow. Ecclesiastic, are you there? Call her on the line. Call her on the line. Are you still there? Call her on the female. I'm here, man. Good morning, sir. Good morning from here. Call her on WhatsApp. Hold on. Go ahead, man. Good morning, my brother, George Onibe. I'm happy to speak with you this morning. I'm very, very happy. I have been trying. I'm happy for you. I have a song, not even a song for all of us. I just want to... My name is Amanta Ovidiego from Uguacha, from uh, School of the Elena One Unit One. What I want to say is so that all the Biafran in the whole world will hear and listen and non key in in this uh, struggle. They said, Only why you go, I know I see, I know I know I see you no more, no more, you no more, no more, me in a guinea. I am me, the game, and go, and go, my guinea, one, and me, she is yellow. No, I think that I'm a baby, and 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 I'
What's up? Are you still there? Yes, Mazonibe. Good morning. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Mazonibe, I pray that Chukoki Kabiyama will keep on strengthening you. It's never easy to do this work. Mazonibe, I'm, 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 I understand what you are talking about. That is that the same thing we are still talking. Mazonibe, I still remain unstoppable. See, be unstoppable. See, be is indigenous of Idima Bami. Idima Bami, I know you. I know you in Biafra land. I am calling you right now from Aba. Mazonibe, do you know that this man they are building Kaba inside IPOB, trying to bastardize what we are doing? They are now some of uh, some of our members now. They are now uh, 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 siding for Wazrike and the United them to destroy what uh, our our Ibu leader and my uh, Mazen Ochem for his building. They are now sabotaging us. But I, I, I agree on what you said because that has never been uh, yeah, it's not that you are causing them, but it has been in time immemorial. But a promise we are making them is that they are they sabot their fathers, their grandfathers sabotage our grandfathers and they go scot free. But in this our generation, they never they will never go scot free. Mazin Nando Kukano used to say, You can sin against Mazin Nando Kano and go scot free. You can sin against me and go scot free. You can sin against your Johnny and go scot free. But no man ever sin against IPOB. That sin against Biafra that we ever ever in this life go scot free. This one is not by talking it by mouth. But we will see where it will end us. Because this thing with this struggle we are fighting again, we are fighting for. We never ever go back or, or remain for our, our children. We will see the head and we will fight it to the end, whether they like it or not. No matter what they do to sabotage you or to level an uh, allegation against you, for you to be able to uh, for them to be able to push you out, they will never succeed in this life. 
Imagine Clifford the Ryan. Imagine all of them coming up in this time that they're supposed to be ashamed of themselves what they have done. They are now exposing themselves already. Well, Mazin and they said it that uh, sabotuas are gathering. Even the voters, they are summarized, they are they are uh, uh, surfacing, and we are identifying them. But in due time, we are promising them. Unless or we are not worshipping to go to Kabiama, the God of our forefathers. If the God of our forefathers that they did them all this miracle to our fathers, we will fail us. It can never fail us in our time. And we will see where it will end us. But all I know that at last, almost help Biafra. Keep on keeping on. We are there already. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. We almost help Biafra. Masi, keep on keeping on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take one more call. My time is up already. Then we'll round up this segment. Are you still there? Call on the line. Hello. Good morning from Hello. here. Go ahead. Good morning from here. Good morning, Judge Oyibe. Go ahead, please. I greet you in the name of Chico Kikabiyama. And I answer, he say. Uh -huh. I, I'm calling from Bayasa. Hey, my sister, go ahead. My go. name, uh -huh. my name is uh, Malvis Okoriocha. I am from Bayasa, but I married at Imo State. I want to appreciate you for everything they do. I'm very grateful unto you. I thank you for your life and your family and the, our supreme leader and the deputy. Just one complaint I want to complain to you now. Eh? the evil, hello? <laughs> Me, I'm from a PA, but I marry Igbo. We started this race 2015. Since then, we win at the, as me now, at the first lady of Bayasa. Now we make this uh, agitation for Bayasa now strong. But now when we don't fight this, we fight it, the fight don't almost come the food don't reach, don't dump for us to eat. Eh? As I talk to you now, the human leader for zone two. Now, our coordinator, when we may get meeting, our coordinator get mind, he go for the women meeting, he tell us, he address us, he say, he the whole people. That is when he talk, many women mouthfuls. I say one day, any time when my call come, I must be doing this matter. She says she say the, the whole people. She is the leader of the whole Ibo. Yes, the indigenous of Ibo. Our coordinator get mind to talk this thing. Say he hold, he the whole Ibo. And me, why they talk to him now? As I'm talking. I saw this man, this, uh, this, uh, this struggle since 2000. If they did post, that's the way we don't even know for women for now he did. Uh, local government woman. and I questioned him. He tell me, say, he go give me post, he go send me go national. I tell him, I'm not there ready to drive post with you. What I need makes the Afra come to pass. That one I just in ground. But another one, when he do any pain me now, when we get meeting this Sunday, that Sunday, when we, we may get meeting, we may get meeting, this state coordinator come there, he has to say, he holds, he has the whole evil. If you forget to say, we don't, we take oath. And when we started this What thing, is the name of that coordinator? Igurubia, Eukeleni. Igurubia said he, Igurubia, he said he hates the Ibu. whole Ibu. Yes. Can you and, please and give me your name again? My name is Marvis Okori Ocha. Go ahead. But we, I'm, we, I'm a, so, I, I, don't, I am don't zone worry. Two. Go ahead with uh -huh. your explaining. Uh -huh. I am zone two woman leader. He said the whole people and me when I talk to you now, me start this race. The whole boy has known me as a first lady. But in the course of the event, I don't know now. Now he brings us in mind. He doesn't really give me a post at all. I'm not a drag post, but that post when he give that woman, that a young woman. We don't even know that a young woman. When we started this race, my dear, our woman did that from a boy. He deputy from Imbo State. And I, I'm working with them seriously. But you know, don't, worry, to don't worry, this complaint is okay. Have you contacted <laughs> the Biafra Land National? Okay. Have you contacted right. the Biafra Land National? No, no. Today, as I had opportunity, that's why I call you. No, okay. Our deputy and our woman leader, they are not around, they are transferred. Okay. I just called the woman leader and I complained to him. The deputy, no, but it's not going. I said, let me just enlighten him. African Red, let's hear what okay. he's doing now. Because try, right now... Try and get in contact with the Biafra Land National. There are a lot of all these politics going on. And we are waiting for them. 
There are okay. a lot of this evil going on, and they come in beautiful garments. Now, George Oni baby, the saboteur, and they wait for all of them. Thunder go fire them when that time come. We know why we come here. We have put our blood in this thing. We know why we are here. Everybody better focus. When they say Amagidom, Amagidom, what take People are crying. People are complaining. And you think nobody will talk? You think people will not react? Nigeria couldn't stop us. And we are here, we cannot talk. All those idiots should begin to rearrange themselves. That naked, when I want dance naked, when the time come on, I go, no. On a, on a day back, they do kaba. On, on, on a papa property. Shame on all of you. Of course, this thing has made me digress. But if anybody think it will turn it down, you can't get to me. You can't assassinate me. You think we don't know what you are saying? Somebody came out, for instance, beat the hand in the chest and told me he will show me he's from Afari Beku and he's proving it. Subordinated me for four years. They are shutting me down, setting up kangaroo nonsense for me. Me, George Onibe, we know why we are here. That thing is affecting all of us. Mazim Efor said, I will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Because he understands this disease. He has been on ground. Those who want to kill our leader in the prison. They are the ones now. They are the holy men. Thunder will fire all of you. You don't know what is coming. You think our Safulani is my problem? That Nigerian disease among us must be cured. He must be cured. He must be cured. He must be cured. I will sign off from here this morning before I get angry. Reading from Biafran's Got Talents.
Sky Ho 